Welcome back to Frontline News. I'm Kimberly Broderick. It's now time for Frontline Business. The government has come under criticism from some members of the business process outsourcing sector for not doing enough to equip workers with the skills needed by the industry. Cody and Barrett has more. Vice President of Sutherland Global, Odetta Rocket Carr, says providing training is not enough. I think our government, powered by heart, has the right concept and wants to do the right thing. But I think execution is still a challenge. So from my perspective, I'm still having to do a lot of my prep, my sourcing, my recruiting, and my training. And I'm looking for the kind of partnership that will eliminate a piece of that training so that I can focus on the pieces that nobody else can do for me. Ms. Rocket Carr argues that the infrastructure at the Heart Trust NDA is not suitable to provide industry-ready professionals. Sometimes we have a way of overcomplicating something that can be much simpler. And uh, sometimes we don't have the necessary, you have people with the right intention, especially in heart. I know so many people in there who are very passionate about what they, do, they are doing, want to execute, but I'm not sure if the environment is set up for them to be successful and get the things done that we need to get done because there's so many contingencies that's tied to what they need to do. Cody and Barrett, Frontline Business. Meanwhile, President of the Business Process Industry Association of Jamaica, Gloria Henry, says finding appropriate space is also a major challenge for the industry. I would say that um, there are some challenges in terms of purpose design space because some people are of the view that just about any space can be used. But we have to be competitive and um, in Costa Rica and Uruguay and Colombia and Dominican Republic they're building our purpose design in Panama quality space and our spaces have to be up to those standards because many of the multinationals that are here they operate in other locations and as I say this is a people business and we're not just going to put people in any space it has to be it has to meet the right environmental standards safety standards aesthetic standards as well. In Tuesday's trading session, the JSE Combined Index advanced by 60 points to close at $375,055. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 56 stocks, of which 22 advanced, 27 declined, and 7 traded firm. The junior market index declined by 19 points to close at 3169 Stocks advanced for 1834 investments, Blue Power Group, Cargo Handlers, Caribbean Cement, and Caribbean Cream. Stocks declined for Access Financial Services, AMG Packaging and Paper Company, Barita Investments, CAC 2000 Limited, and Caribbean Producers. Trading firm were CAC 2000, Everything Fresh, Jamaican Teas, JMMB Group, and Kingston Properties. Fontana Limited was the volume leader with over 2 million units, followed by Scotia Group Jamaica Limited with 216,870 units and Caribbean Producers Jamaica Limited with 203,515 units. News in Oil Oil prices fell on Tuesday a day after data showing a decline in U.S. factory orders dragged both benchmarks down from 2019 highs. U.S. crude futures were down 50 cents, or a 0.9%, at $54.06 a barrel. Brent crude futures were down 46 cents, or 0.7%, at $62.05 a barrel. And that's it for Frontline Business. Regional stories are up next after the break. <music> 